Okay, just a brief update on the progress of the latest version of the experimental cell that I'm putting together. Again, this cell cavity, or the plate cavity, is 2 inches wide across this dimension, 1 and 7 eighths inches high. Uh, no particular reason for that, only uh, that's how the surplus of the uh, material that was stamped off of the uh, r remaining pieces ended up being. So that's what I'm playing with. You can see I have the stack of 316L plates separated by plastic cable ties that are sandwiched in between and they are simply held together now by these elastic bands that wrap around the whole assembly. I'm going to tell you this is no easy task. I took a, um, a 6 inch steel ruler and had to slide it in between the in between the plates and push it out to the side and get the get the uh, the tie wraps or the cable ties all lined up nice and straight to get what you see here in this picture. Uh, what what precedes this video is about an hour's worth of fiddling around to get this whole thing to sit properly. So not an easy job. And when when I'm done, what I will do is I'm going to take the steel ruler and I'm going to push each of the cable ties in about an eighth of an inch away from the very edge on both sides and I will take glue and smear it across the edge and simply lay it on top and I'll do that on both sides so that I will end up with A whole assembly that looks like that. And these side walls are approximately a quarter of an inch taller than the plates. So at the bottom they will extend below the edge of the plates and I will grind away most of the material in the center and what I, what I will end up with is four little legs that hold the cell off the bottom of the canister off the bottom of the electrolyte tank so that the electrolyte solution can flow freely throughout the tank and back up through and I don't have to worry about suspending it in the tank at any particular height because it will rest by itself at the correct height on the bottom of the tank. That's it for now. Uh, I'm gonna go inside. It's really cold out here in the garage tonight and um, I'm going to warm these plates up and try some new adhesive that uh, I was given. I have no idea what the brand name is. Betaseal. Quick Cure Primerless Auto Glass Urethane Adhesive. I don't know. It was given to me. And uh, other people say it works for this application, so I'm going to give it a try tonight. Only because I'm out of my 3M Marine adhesive and I don't feel like waiting. So. Um, I'm going to take it on uh, the advice of others and use this product here and see how well it holds the whole thing together. Sir Fossil Fuel signing out for now. I'll be back with more.